guys we're gonna start out the video a little different today um i had a guy by the name of maurice uh he's actually from bermuda anyway he reached out to me via email um when we got the grease gun the electric grease gun from bradley he reached out and uh asked if he could send us something uh some kind of little attachments and stuff uh that go on the grease gun so i said sure so anyway look what came in uh, pretty neat little deal so basically this is like if you've got grease fittings in like hard places to get to you've got all these little attachments that you can uh clip on to the end of your grease gun and uh getting these weird and tight spots so like this one right here i know most of our grease guns that we already have the uh, rubber hose on them but some of them you can get a grease gun that has the uh little metal rod stiff in what we call it it doesn't move at all so if you had a stiff end on your grease gun and you needed to get in a tight space and you needed a rubber hose well this just locks on right there to the end of your grease gun and there you go you got a rubber end when you get through just pop it off that's pretty neat uh this one's pretty neat too this uh it's got this little thing you pull right here and it moves all all around different angles and once again it locks on uh this one's pretty neat um if you had a bearing that was uh you were replacing a bearing and it came in uh, all different pieces you know you got to put grease in there for your needle bearings or whatever you got to grease those that's what this little baby's for it's got a sharp little needle anyway pops on the end of your grease gun pump it and uh fill those little needle bearings with grease all the way around uh, i'm not sure what all these other ones do but i'll figure it out uh you got two of them like this same thing kind of thing they narrow down um i'll have to look up and see exactly what they go for anyway maurice thank you very much for uh sending us this uh kit uh we will be using it so you'll probably see it on some videos and um anyway once again thank you thank you thank you that's uh so cool that people would uh take the time to uh and their spend their money and uh send us these gifts we uh really appreciate it again now let's get to the video welcome back guys it is wednesday march the 2nd and uh my name is daniel and you're watching triple r farms and here is the plan of the day the goal i should say of the day is uh we are going to try to wrap up disking down here at uh gray rock so we'll have mark will be on the rolling basket he's going to be following james which will be on the uh land all disc they're going to be across the road on some of that red dirt finishing up over there once they finish across the road then that means everything across the road is ready to plant and they'll move back over here all we've got is just a section over here in the irrigated field that we're trying to finish up we were over here working yesterday on it and uh, i think today one more pass with the uh, speed till uh the speed disc the case 475 go over it one time then rolling basket and then we are done so um if you like disking videos this is a uh, one for you because that's what we're going to be doing all day there is a small chance that we do get done a little bit early today with uh gray rocks and i may have a chance to go to blackwell's bin and spray but you'll just have to watch the video to figure out if we get that done so um anyway disking video let's get this thing started Is it leaking? Like a little hydraulic leak right here. We can fix that.
this is my ride for the day the old 8320r check it out that's not good and we are low on the hydraulic fluid see it right there where my finger is it should be way up there Plenty of oil. It's good. This is the way we uh, get our hydraulic oil out. We got this tank hydraulic and this is uh, motor oil. It's all pumped out by air. Uh, I've got it regulated right here on how much air pressure goes in the tank. So when we turn that valve on and we turn this valve on, it doesn't come just rushing out of there. It's it's about like if you took a uh, quart, quart of oil and you know we're pouring it, that's about how fast it comes out. Um, so anyway, I'll go ahead and hook the airline up so it'll pressurize that tank. So when I pull up here with the tractor, uh, we'll grab that hose and uh, top it off with hydraulic oil. Give you an idea how fast it's coming out. That's because I got the uh, pressure regulated. About like, like I said, about it's about like you're pouring it out of a quarter oil out of a quart jug. Tip of the day, always check your hydraulic fluid when the tractor is off. All right, guys, that is it. He is full.
this dirt is looking beautiful. This dirt over here has a lot more, it's, it's more red, got more clay in it, sand, sandy clay. Um, anyway, it is, uh, that looks beautiful. That right there, guys, is ready to plant. I feel like if we had a corn planter over here right now, Dad would be sticking corn in the ground, I feel like. <laughs> when you got a field looking this good and you got moisture in it, he would be, uh, I would have to hold him back from planting, but, but it looks good. Last pass on this one. So they got it under control. Everything's looking good over here. So I'm going to head back across the highway to the right side of the highway and uh, back to the irrigation field. I'm going to jump on the high speed, uh, high speed disc and uh, see if I can start touching up some areas in that field and uh, get this thing wrapped up. Looking good. Beautiful weather here in Alabama. I mean, it is 70 degrees right now. No clouds in the sky. It's going to get up to probably about 75 today. And uh, it's going to get warmer as the days go by this week. But uh, beautiful, beautiful Alabama weather. I mean, you can't beat this, guys. Okay, so this is the last one we got to get ready. Eventually James will be over here with the land all disc and it'll be me running with the case disc James with the land all and Mark will do the final pass with the uh, rolling basket But I need to move this pivot which I've never cranked this pivot up ever before in my life I need to uh, walk it out into the field because uh, we still got some plowing to do right here so um We'll see if we can crank it up and not get bit by a wasp or a snake and uh, see if we can get the thing walking. Golly, was that a wasp? Yep. Shoot. See right there? Holy cow. There he is. See him right there? A little yellow jacket. I don't care what they are. I don't like them. This is a valley. That's the brand pivot it is. I never ran a valley. I ran a rinky in TNL. Power is on. Start. We want to go forward. Uh, forward is clockwise. That's the way we want to go. Uh, we're running dry. Um, I think I'd flick it to run once it's walking in case it gets out of line. It'll uh, cut itself off. All right. I got it in stop. So we'll crank this generator motor up. And then when it gets warmed up, then we'll hit start and we should start walking. Oh, here's how fast it's walking right here. This little dial, we're on 100%. Well, about 99%. That's fine. That's... That's the speed of the wheels, um, how fast they're turning. Okay, there's that daggum wasp. See him right there? Little joker. Like he wants to bite me today. Are you kidding me? You telling me the battery is dead? Well, I'm going to go ahead and start disking, and uh, once James and Mark, once they get down here in the same field, I may break away and uh, go get my truck, see if I can jump off this battery and uh, get the pivot moved. But for now, let's get to disking. Well, we are running all in the same field, but I'm having to go extremely slow. I don't know if you can see. But if you watch the corner of that disc right there on mine, it's trying to hop on me. 
uh, it's kind of just doing like this and that is not good so i'm having to go extremely slow i'm going like 4.8 miles an hour to try to keep it as level as i can from doing from not doing any bouncing i don't know what's happened but somehow the field has got kind of washboardy it's basically got little waves all in it uh, you, you can't tell by looking at it right now on the dirt but if i went faster my front of my tractor would be doing this and uh normally that is from trying to disc too fast uh with like a regular like land all disc we've had it in the past where you try to go faster than 5.5 .5 with with that blue disc it, it'll start hopping on you and it creates what we call a washboard is ridges all the way down the field and i don't know if it was like this before but uh anyway that's what we got now so Back to the uh, wasp nest. Hopefully we will not get stung. I do have some spray though. I could spray them. You can never go wrong. Make sure we're still ready to go. Make sure everything's on off. Yeah, we're still on stop. Oh, shoot. There they are. Holy cow. Oh, man. There's a bunch of them in that little tray. Oh, my goodness. They were not happy either. Let's go get the spray. So it is time to bring out the guns, the big guns. Definitely got a disc right here again. All right, guys, she is moving. How about that? That is all we have left, folks, right there. That little bit that James is finishing up, right there, all the way to the end of the pivot. 
that is it for gray rocks guys Whew, we got after it today and uh it looks like we're gonna achieve our goal we are out of time on this video i hope y'all enjoyed it we uh, achieved our goal we knocked out gray rocks so that was a big thumbs up on that one uh, we can finally get all our equipment out of here and uh, move on to other stuff so before i end the video i want to thank maurice again thank you for sending that uh that little kit the grease fitting kit that was uh super nice we really appreciate it so thank you very much and uh, guys, we're going to get out of here. So uh, I'll see y'all on the next one. We're out.